Alright, so welcome back again to Pinoy Screen Gas. I'm V Boy, and before I get started sa ating daily cast, hopefully, guys, you are all safe and mag magpapaulan, bawal magkasakit. <laughs> so, medyo may kailangan ang balita ngayon because I'll be focusing sa Cherry Mobile price reveal. You see, yun yung pinaka buong balita natin. But before I get started sa Cherry Mobile, our first news is all about the Realme 3 Pro. Meron bagong update ang Realme 3 Pro and based sa kanilang website, if you're interested to check that out, realme.com, which is, this is in India, as they added a 200 F 240 FPS na slow motion functionality sa kanilang camera. So, if so if you're using a Realme 3 Pro, so you might probably have this update really, really soon. Although the update is in India, but for sure, this will be going to roll out globally. So, just stay tuned on that. Ang next news is, pinost ko to actually sa aking Instagram stories. So, if you haven't checked that out, check out my Instagram stories at instagram.com slash Pinoy Screencast or sa fan page ko at fb.com slash Pinoy screencast. So, this is one of the news and uh, Redmi 7A is actually available na sa India. This, dito sa announcement ko is magiging available pa lang sa India. Pero, there are already some uh, videos sa YouTube and uh, ang specification niya is actually, it's a octa-core. This is a, uh, at, I think, entry-level phone kasi 2GB of RAM lang and then my Snapdragon 439 plus a 5-inch display HD IPS with 13 megapixel na front camera and 5 megapixel front plus a 4000 milliampere na battery so yes it's a budget phone uh, ang price niya sa india it's 5535 uh, rupee so so more likely ganun din yung presyo niya sa philippines so probably 6000 to 7000 if ever man nadarating sa atin yan. Next news is all about the Yumi DGX. Although this is just a teaser and walang other details, pero ang nakalagay dito is screen unlock the future. So this one is it's rumored to uh, release a very affordable phone na may in-display fingerprint scanner. So usually kasi ang in-display, like for example here in the Philippines is meron yung mga Vivo, pero nasa 5,000, uh, or 15,000 pesos siya. Si Yumi DG is expected to release around just $200. So that is just 10,000 or less than 10,000 pesos na meron ng in-display fingerprint sensor. But then again, wala pang full detail regarding this. So I'll just update you guys once na na-release na yung specification and even all the details of this device. And for our last news before doon sa Cherry Mobile na topic natin is merong price down si uh, Memo Express sa Honor 10 Lite plus sa uh, Honor Play. As you can see, yung Honor 10 Lite is now just 7,990 from 10,990. And yung Honor Play niya is from 15,990 naging 11,990 which is interesting kasi connected to sa topic ko which is I'll move into the Cherry Mobile. Alright, if napanood nyo yung daily cast ko in the recent video is nando nakita nyo na inannounce na ang Cherry Mobile Flare X3. Although yung price niya ni revealed yesterday which is June 28th. So, ang presyo niya is 9999 So, I have created here a quick chart of all the devices na medyo kadikit nung specification niya. And uh, I'll show you if ano nga ba yung interesting dito sa nilaunch yung Cherry Mobile. Kasi sabi ko nga, it's surprising kasi biglang nag-launch si Cherry Mobile ng mid-range device na that can compete actually sa mga mga bagong devices ngayon. So, yung iba dito is hindi nakasama yung runner-up natin uh, na dalawa. Pero, ang sinama ko dito is the V11i, Samsung Galaxy A30, Redmi Note 7, Realme 3, and then yung dalawa natin na runner-up is the Honor Play and the uh, Asus Zenfone Pro Max M1. Yun. So, may kita nyo dito sa chart ko is meron akong highlight na red, green, and yellow. So, basically, I will explain kung bakit uh, naka-highlight sila. Most of this one is, kumbaga, ito yung on my end. Kumbaga, if meron man akong pera, ito yung pipiliin ko, kumbaga. Kung may pera akong ganitong amount. Okay? So, basically, uh, in terms of the pricing, makikita naman natin dito na hinighlight ko yung Cherry Mobile na 9,999 compared sa Realme 3 na 9,990. Pinili ko si Cherry Mobile dito no, kasi although 9 pesos lang yung lamang niya, or yung discount, the numbers here talo siya in terms of sa Cherry Mobile. So, kaya pinil ko si Cherry Mobile kasi nga mas uh, higher yung RAM and then higher than yung camera plus naka Type-C na siya. And this one kasi hindi pa naka Type-C. Processor naman, is may kita nyo na hindi naman naiiwan si Cherry Mobile. Uh, most of the device here is naka Helio P60 
And then, syempre si Samsung may sariling processor. And then si Redmi Note 7 is naka Snapdragon 660. But if you will compare it to Vivo and Realme, which is ang pinakadikit na competitor niya as of the moment, it's using the same processor. So kahit pa ano, sa mga tao na nagsasabi na bakit MediaTek ang pinili. So, kumbaga, hindi kahit pa paano na pag-iiwanan ang Cherry Mobile in terms of the processor. Helio P60 is the latest uh, MediaTek processor and kakalabas lang ng uh, MediaTek P65. So, kahit pa paano, si P60 ang pinakamataas ngayon. So, for the price of 999 again, you're having a uh, Helio P60 na, na processor, which is really good for gaming. So, bakit nakahighlight ng red yung Snapdragon 660 and Adreno 512? So, usually kasi, most of the enthusiasts and kumbaga uh, no doubt naman na yung ibang tao talaga is kapag sinabing MediaTek versus Snapdragon ang pipiliin is Snapdragon because in the long run daw mas maganda yung processing and so on and so forth but then again on my end I don't mind if uh, MediaTek man yan or Snapdragon so I really don't care in terms if uh, kumbaga orange lemon ano ba orange apple kung ano mga comparison ng ginagawa nila. So sa akin, hinalik ko lang dito kasi majority of the users uh, are leaning towards Snapdragon. So I just highlighted it. So kahit pa no, uh, makita nyo yung price comparison ng uh, 9,999 versus 11,490. So that is 1,500 difference. Although, mamaya kadugtong yan, yung pricing. So, bakit hindi ko pinili yung 9990 ng Redmi Note 7 compared? Kumbaga, bakit ko pinili yung 11.5 versus 990 na 64GB na storage? Yung device na meron kami dito is 128GB. So, sa girlfriend ko yan basically. Pero, nung before siya bumili, is tinanong ko, magkano yung 64GB? 9990. So, magkano yung ano? Magkano yung 128? 11 something. So, 11.5 nga. Yung ganun. 11.490. So, sabi ko, 1,500 ang difference. Times, tapos times 2 na yung storage mo. Kung bagay, imbis na parang you're paying for uh, 9,000 times 2, uh, 18,000, you're paying for 11,000. So, sabi ko sa kanya, uh, dagdaga mo na yan ng 1.5. Kung baga, okay lang yan. Kung baga, malaking sulit na yun para sa 128GB if you're paying for 1,500. Kumbaga, practicality, bakit mo papipigilan na mas mataas yung storage if magdadagdag ka lang naman ng 1,500? Which is, kaya mo naman tiisin yung 1,500 na yun, for sure. So, yun yung parang baseline ko dito. Kaya nandito yung highlight, or naka-highlight dito yung 128GB na storage. And bakit hindi ko pinili yung Redmi Note 7 990? Kasi, it's really impractical. Uh, kumbaga, tiisin nyo na lang, kung meron kayo 9,990 ngayon, tiisin nyo na lang it's just 1,500 na pagtitiisan nyo. Siguro kahit, kumbaga, next month, hindi pa kayo umakabili ngayong month. Next month, bilihin nyo na yung, yung Redmi Note 7 na 128GB. Yun ang piliin nyo, rather than the 64GB. So, again, uh, kumbaga, sa iba, parang malaking bagay na yung 1,500, oversize yung 128GB. But then again, uh, parang personal preference lang namin din yun. Pero yun nga, kumbaga, in terms of practicality lang din naman, parang it's times 2. Bakit nyo papipigilan nga lang yun? So, sa RAM, may ita naman natin dito na siya talaga ang pinaka-highest of all the devices na nandito. And even yung constellation natin ng mga device. So, si Oppo actually meron siya 6GB and that is the F9 Pro ata yun. Pero, sobrang ilang buwan na ang nakalipas since nung nilang siya. So, but then again, uh, hindi naman siya lumang-luma pero it's using the same processor. Uh, Helio P60, so 6GB of RAM, and although nasa, ano yun, nasa 12,000 ata or 11,000 ang presyo rin niya. Pero basically, abing nga, lamang na lamang si Cherry Mobile in terms of this one. Kaya siya yung nakahighlight dito na 6GB. Now, for the battery, uh, with this one, medyo ano nga lang, hindi pa makapag-verdict uh, dito kasi I need to get into the device before I can say na sulit yung 4,000 mAh na battery. Kasi kahit sabi natin 4,000 mAh na battery, if hindi naman optimize yung software para sa battery or sa components niya, pwede mo ubus yan in just 4 hours or 5 hours. Pero, dapat ang minimum ng 4,000 mAh battery is 5 to 8 hours. If very optimized yung software to the battery, tatagal at tatagal yung battery. And proven tested yan sa Oppo device. I think that is the A series niya. A series na yun is nasa 4,000 lang yung battery or 3,000 ata. Umabot ng 12 hours yung battery niya. So, kumbaga, it really differs in terms of optimization ng software. Kaya dito, ang pinili ko lang is yung mas mataas yung capacity which is si Realme 3 Pro which is uh, 4,230 mAh. Now, sa camera naman, hinighlight ko dito kaagad na red kasi ang ginawa kong justification dito is yung numbers of camera. Cherry Mobile lang yung may tatlong camera, merong dalawa sa front. Although meron din dalawa sa front si Realme 3 pero sabi ko nga, syempre, 
uh, kahit pa paano, dito parang dikit kasi yung dalawang yan eh, rear and front eh. So parang combination yan. So kaya tinapat ko na kagad na sila yung uh, kahit pa paano lamang dito. Pero if you're looking into higher megapixel, uh, syempre ang mananalo dyan is si Redmi Note 7 na 48 megapixel and then 5 megapixel na second ari camera. Clarify ko lang, yung feature ng camera sa rear ni Cherry Mobile is yung 12 megapixel yung main, yung 5 megapixel is yung monochrome, and then yung 2 megapixel is yung kanyang in, uh, depth sensor. So, ang feature na meron sa kanya, wala siyang wide, meron lang siyang uh, bokeh effect. So, which is that is yung parang portrait na nagbo-blur yung background and at change yung aperture. So, it's either kung nga f2.0 and then magiging 1.8 or something. So, yun yung feature niya. And same goes with the front camera na 20 megapixel. So, higher megapixel, syempre, mas maganda yung selfie nyo. Pero yun, if you're looking into the front camera, uh, ang mas mataas dito is si Vivo V11. So, dahil nagpo-focus sila dito sa selfie device. Pero yun, uh, si Redmi Note 7, kahit pa na 13, and siya ang pinaka-lowest dito ka sa lahat. So, hindi sila nag-focus sa front camera. Now, in terms of the display, hinahalit ko dahil si AMOLED. So, syempre, walang tatalo sa AMOLED display. Plus, Full HD+, plus, and I think this is the infinity display na. Most of it, this is a regular FHD IPS, and then, uh, although sa Cherry Mobile, Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So, I think, naka... Corning Gorilla Glass din tong mga to pero I'm not sure if ano na version. Pero yon, uh, 6.2, 6.18, so actually this is 6.1. Uh, 3, ang pinakamalaki is si Samsung. No, 6.3, uh, kasunod si Redmi Note 7. So kahit paano, medyo mas maliit pa siya. Pero sa port, makita natin na upgraded na si Cherry Mobile, naka Type C na siya. So pinili ko siya among all the rest kasi syempre parang for a uh, price niya, if hindi kita din sa presyo ng 9,999, wala kang makita na Type C na ganun na presyo kahit pa paano if I will compare it sa ibang mga devices kasi most of them is uh, above sabi ko nga si Redmi Note 7 ang pinakakadikit nga lang yung 64 gig niya may type C rin so most of them naka micro USB and then si Samsung ang ng presyo type C and then si Vivo actually ang taas ng presyo pero naka micro USB pinili ko dito si Redmi Note 7 dahil nga in terms of I will if I have the 1,500 to compare sa 10,000 pesos mas pipiliin ko na na magkaroon ng 128 gig na variant na device. Kung baga, pag maghihintay na lang ako kung sa ganun man lang. Sa operating system, which is, this is the crucial part, naka-yellow si Cherry Mobile and sa iba, naka-Oreo, Oreo and Pi and naka-Pi din yung Realme 3. So, dito medyo, ito yung pinaka sabi ko nga, crucial kasi ito yung tinitingnan ng tao. Kagandahan si Cherry Mobile is naka-latest version na, Android 9. Although, yun nga, parating na yung Android Q. Kung baga, notorious kahit upon si Cherry Mobile in terms of the update. Usually, hindi nagkakaroon ng update talaga. So, sabi ko nga, meron ako dito mga ibang Cherry Mobile and most of them is hindi nagkaroon ng update. If I will compare it sa ibang devices na nahawak ko ngayon, like Realme 3, and then, si Redmi Note 7, nakailang update na sila. Like sa Realme 3 ko, I think nakatatlong update na ako na dumating ever since nung binili ko siya. Then, si Redmi Note 7 naman is I think naka na update na siya since nung binili namin siya. So, yon So, basically, kahit papano, ito yung very crucial part. So, mga, kung kahit gaano kataas yung specification ng any device is usually yung no-brainer na consumer, uh, kumbaga yung mga parang hindi naman technical na tao is ang titingnan lang talaga nila is updated yung ano, operating system ba? not all has the parang luxury of having additional 1,500 pesos or additional 2,000 pesos para maka kumbaga merong iba talaga na hindi nakakapagtsaga sa sa ganung presyo and uh, actually I'm going to check yung Cherry Mobile Flair X3 definitely Kasi kahit pa paano, it's really promising. Ang pinakadikit niya na competitor dito so far is the Redmi Note 7. Kasi, yun nga, Snapdragon and then higher storage. So, ang kagandahan is uh, I have a Redmi Note 7 na 128GB plus I'm looking forward to have yung Cherry Mobile Flare X3. Ang release date niya is based sa sources is uh, July 2nd week or 3rd week pa. So, kagandahan din nun is makakapag-ipon pa para makabili ng Cherry Mobile. It really depends on your preferences if ano ang parang need nyo. If you're into gaming, kahit pa paano, may laban ng P60. Multitasking, walang problema dyan. Proven, tested na yan. Kahit pa paano may laban. Ang pinaka inaano ko lang talaga dito, concern ko talaga is sa software. Uh, sabi ko nga, based on experience, hindi ganun ka aggressive yung Cherry Mobile in terms of updating the software. And uh, even on the 
videos na nakita ko ngayon sa YouTube ng mga uh, fellow tech vloggers na nag-release na is it's using the default camera na MediaTek. Although, sabi nga nila, it's just a engineering or prototype unit. So, we're not sure yet if ano yung magiging final. It's either, ano ba, stock Android or vanilla Android ba? It really depends eh. So, yun yung medyo parang nag nag ano lang sa akin na i-recommend yung Cherry Mobile Play X3 in terms of how it can compete with the market. Eh. Kasi sobrang dikit eh. Sabi ko nga, di ba, sa previous video ko, if that will be 8,990, kahit pa paano, no, no doubt, kukunin ka agad yan. Pero nag-9,999 siya. Sobrang dikit niya doon sa, ano, sa ibang devices. So, siguro kahit 9,495, pwede pa eh. Kaso nga lang, nag-999 eh. So, kumbaga, it's a se- parang dinikita nila sa celebration nila na 10 years anniversary. Pero, again, that's just my own opinion. So, you're free also as well to have your own opinion regarding this topic. So, yung dalawang consolation unit na sinabi ko kanina is actually yung uh, Honor Play and then yung Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So, interesting kasi nag-price drop yon So, si Honor Play, 11,990 na lang ngayon. And this is 64 gig na storage Plus, uh, it comes with a 4GB of uh, RAM. Plus, ang kagandaan sa kanya is meron GPU uh, booster, di ba? Na feature. Or I think that, that, that is a GPU uh, enhancement. So, it's better in terms of gaming. Kaya, yun. Uh, although, ang original price niya is 15,000. So, interesting kahit paano na isama siya dito. Although, 12,000 na siya. Uh, yun. But, you might consider it. So, next is, this, dito, medyo ano lang to. Hindi ko sure if this is legit. Uh, nakita ko to sa website ng uh, Asus. Kagandahan sa Asus uh, Zenfone Max Pro M1, 4 gig 64 plus, this is a stock Android. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kumbaga, wala. Walang bloatware, kasi notorious si, si, ano, si uh, Asus sa mga bloatware. Pero this one, stock Android, dual camera, 5,000 mAh na, uh, 5,000 mAh na battery. So, 8,925, kumbaga 9,000 pesos. Although kasi nung chinek ko sa Lazada, yung kanyang uh, unit, same with this one, is same siya ng price, 9,000, pero 3 gig lang. So, I'm not sure if this is online exclusive sa website ng Asus, <laughs> pero kumbaga, if ako ang papipiliin, uh, kahit paano, leaning towards ako dito kasi kahit paano maganda yung ano niya, yung Snapdragon 636 niya. That is not bad. Uh, if you, kumbaga, comparable siya sa uh, P60 and plus, sabi ko nga, stock uh, Android siya. No bloatware, malinis na malinis and 5,000 mAh na battery. Although, based from the review, yung 5,000 uh, niya na capacity is hindi ganun katagal pero it's still, it's still a good deal. 15,000 Price drop, 9,000 na siya halos. So, there. That's my uh, thoughts regarding sa Cherry Mobile Player X3. Again, uh, July ang dating niya. So, meron pa kayong time makapag-ipon. So, uh, I'm also going to get one. Uh, if ever man na hindi ako makakuha ng review unit directly from Cherry Mobile, I'm, I'm getting this unit. Kasi I'm still looking for a another backup phone. Uh, dahil nga, medyo aminin ko, napabagalan ako sa... Realme 3 kasi I was expecting na kumbaga na pa impulse buy ako sa ano yan. I ko na pa impulse buy ako sa Redmi 3 kasi uh, yung budget ko talaga is uh, below 10,000 lang usually. Pag phone talaga below 10,000 pero unless talaga uh, kumbaga worth it yung upgrade mo para luwang pa sa 10,000 uh, I'd rather choose to upgrade na. So kumaka nung sinabi ko kanina yung Redmi Note 7 namin Eh, sa presyo nga, nasa 9,000 lang, 64 gig. Pero sabi ko nga, parang 1,500 lang, idagdag mo na. Meron ka ng 128 gig na storage. So, yun lang naging justification namin. Pero yun, uh, overall, uh, stay tuned. If ever man, I will update you guys sa social media accounts ko. Follow me on my Instagram account, uh, Facebook, and also, you can join my Discord group. Link in the description box down below. So, lahat ng mga pinakita ko dito, if interested kayo, i-check din yung mga devices na yan, kung magkano man sila or saan man mabibili. Uh, again, nasa description box ng video na to. Okay? So, once again, I'm B-Boy. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.